The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the technique used for an ultrasound guided trigger finger steroid injection. The indications for a trigger finger steroid injection includes pain or triggering at the A1 pulley. Possible adverse reactions to the steroid injections include syncope, swelling, allergic reaction to preservatives, infection, skin hypopigmentation, tendon rupture, and pain at the injection site. The materials needed for this procedure includes an alcohol swab, gloves, ethyl chloride, a 3cc syringe filled with dexamethasone and 1% lidocaine, a 30 gauge needle, an ultrasound machine, 2x2 two two gauze pads, a band-aid, a coban wrap, and an informational sheet about what to expect after an injection. To identify the site of the injection, the flexor tendon of the involved finger is palpated at the head of the metacarpal. Feel for the thickening of the flexor tendon and for the site of triggering as you flex and extend the finger. This is the site of the injection. Make a skin indentation at this site. Then the injection site is prepared by cleansing the patient's skin with an alcohol swab. In this video, the injection site is the left index finger A1 pulley. The A1 pulley is immediately superficial to the head of the metacarpal bone. After cleansing the skin with alcohol, ethyl chloride, also known as cold spray, is used to anesthetize the surface of the skin so that ideally the patient doesn't feel the 30 gauge needle when it is inserted. It should be noted that neither the ethyl chloride nor the alcohol swab must not be applied to the ultrasound probe because alcohol causes damage to the probe. After obtaining the ultrasound probe, the needle is inserted at the A1 pulley. In this video, the ultrasound has labels for white sonodense metacarpal bone, gray isoechoic flexor tendon, and black anoechoic steroid fluid. After the needle is adjusted so that it is superficial to the flexor digitorum superficialis, the dexamethasone and lidocaine are injected. You shouldn't feel any resistance while injecting the steroid fluid. The ultrasound gel, also known as goo, is wiped away with a 2x2 gauze. A band-aid is applied and the injection site is wrapped with coban. The patient is a Seattle Seahawk fan and she is wrapped with Seahawk Green Coban to celebrate their recent victory. The patient is instructed to take the Coban off in about an hour and is given an informational sheet on what to expect after an injection. I would like to give special thanks to the team that I work with and their help in the creation of this injection technique video. Our team includes PA Derek Amori, Dr. Thomas Trumbull, MA Michelle Bush, M.A. Allen Boyd, scribe Christopher Higginbotham, and video technician Reed Malmquist. My hope is that anyone, NP, PA, MD, or DOs tasked with the responsibility of providing health care finds this video useful for their practice. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Sincerely, PA Keith LeMay.